Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the synopsis for the two-part episode. Also, we're going over the episode 9 synopsis for the episode titled Timeless. Also, they released some new photos for the upcoming episode later this week, and we got another teaser about Bart Allen. So there's so much stuff going on, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So let's start off with the photos for next week's episode. So this is the episode titled The People vs. Killer Frost. This is the first episode since we're coming back from our little break. And we've got the official photos, which is super exciting. And apparently we're going to be seeing one of the forces, but in their human form. So we've been expecting this for a while, and it's nice to go back to some of these characters. Because, like, we've only seen Fuerza once, we've only seen Psyche once. But these two characters are returning in separate episodes. And so in next week's episode, we're going to see the human version of Fuerza, a.k.a. the Strength Force. And you can see it's this lady right here. Sarah Garcia is the actress's name and you can see her here. She is some sort of scientist it looks like because I believe this is in some sort of medical lab. You can kind of tell by how white the room is and the fact that she's got gloves on. So she's working on her laptop in this photo. And we cut over to the next and we see Barry as a CSI. Obviously he is fully suited up here. Nora is showing up and it looks like Nora is not very happy, so maybe she recognizes her. That could explain the facial expression. However, it seems they found out something and it's led them to her. So I don't know what Fuerza's real name is, like, you know, when she's in her normal human form. However, this is her and so we cut closer to a reaction of Nora, aka the Speed Force. And once again, she is not happy at all. You can totally see it by her expression. Then we go to a closer photo and it's just them inside that very, very white room. And you see her, this is Sarah Garcia, playing Fuerza and the Strength Force. And so I'm looking forward to seeing this other side to her because out of all the forces, it's been said that they were pretty much, you know, always there and they've always been around. However, we haven't touched upon the human forms of these characters yet and now we're finally doing that, so that's exciting. And I don't know how long these characters are going to be around for, but, you know, this graphic novel started after episode 3, so in episode 4. That's when we first saw Fuerza, she was the first force that we saw, and we haven't seen her since then. However, we got introduced to Psyche, the Steel Force, and now we're going back to Fuerza again. And in this photo, it's not Barry that shows up, but it's the Flash who confronts her and is talking to her, and... I'm not sure why he specifically is there, but I presume he knows that she has a connection to Fuerza. And the final photo is Caitlyn going into the CCPD, probably to inquire about Killer Frost. So that's what's going on in next week's episode. Very excited to see all of this. Let's move on to the next thing. This is the synopsis for episode 9, titled Timeless. Barry seeks out Timeless Wells. After a devastating betrayal, Barry turns to Timeless Wells for help. Meanwhile, Iris leads Team Citizen down a dangerous road in search of answers, and Cisco confides in his biggest fear to Camilla. So, this episode is episode 9. This is coming out on the 11th of May, so this is the episode after next. And so, Timeless Wells is returning, aka original timeline Harrison Wells. That's super exciting. And the synopsis teases a devastating betrayal, and so by a betrayal, that means it's someone close to Barry. And who is close to Barry, and who is new to the team? Well, that is, of course, the Speed Force. And now, this is something that we've been theorizing about for a while now, that she has something else going on, there is greater motive. And I believe this betrayal is literally 100% to do with the Speed Force, like, no way it's anyone else. And why else would Barry turn to Timeless Wells, who is literally not even here? He needs someone who is that smart, right? And I feel like him out of anyone would be able to figure out why the Speed Force did what the Speed Force did. Obviously, we'll find out what she is going to do when we get to that episode. But for now, that's kind of what is going to happen. And let's continue with this. So Iris leads Team Citizen down a dangerous road in search of answers. I presume that could be to do with what happened here. However, there is a high possibility this could be something to do with something very, very different. And Cisco confines his biggest fear to Camilla. So Camilla is returning. She hasn't been around since like the first few episodes. But yeah, so that is the synopsis 
for episode 9. And so really excited to see Wells come back. We haven't seen Tom on the show since he went away and since we had Timeless Wells in that one episode. And I presume after this he's going to stick around for at least a couple of episodes. I don't think he's just going to like come back and leave straight away because he pretty much came and left straight away before. So why would they do that again? However, let's move on to the next thing. This is the synopsis for the episode after this and this is the first part of the two part episode. It's titled Family Matters Part 1. This is coming out on the 18th of May and this is episode 10 of season 7 of The Flash. This is how the synopsis goes. Psych threatens Iris. Iris is pushed to the limit as she seeks to uncover the mysterious truth about Psych. Meanwhile, Barry initiates a new training system that could potentially backfire with devastating consequences. Joe and Cisco make life altering decisions. So this is a lot that is teased in this. Psych is returning, like I said, all the forces are going to come back. We're going to see the Steel Force very soon, aka Stepfast, aka Dion. So I'm pretty sure he's going to come back like even the episode after this or the episode after that. However, after this, they're pretty much wrapping up this third graphic novel pretty soon. So I would expect them to kind of lean towards a conclusion very, very soon. Okay, so Psyche is going after Iris, and this is probably because of Iris's investigation the last episode, and it leads her to Psyche. And so apparently, according to this, she has pushed her limit as she seeks to uncover the mysterious truth about Psyche. And maybe this is where we get to see like the human form of Psyche. By that I mean him without the mask and kind of what's going on with him personally rather than just as a force. And so at the same time you have Barry who initiates a new training system. I presume this is to do with him trying to get better and his speed and his abilities. And according to the synopsis this could potentially backfire with devastating consequences so it seems like something could go wrong and it pretty much is going to be something very risky. So also in the synopsis Joe and Cisco make life altering decisions. I don't know what specifically that is. Maybe it's something to do with Kramer and what's happening with Joe's story. But I'm not 100% sure about Cisco. Maybe it has something to do with Camilla. However, Camilla isn't mentioned in the synopsis. So I'm not sure how likely it is she's going to show up because you have to remember the actress is only a guest star. But it's exciting that we're going back to the forces. And like I said, this is the first part of a two part episode. Family matters, meaning probably it's something to do with the family, to do with, you know, his literal family, and also Team Flash. And normally in two part episodes, they have like one big story arc for those two episodes, and they kind of just split them into two. That's what they did with Supergirl's episode this week and next week. And so Family Matters Part 2 is going to be episode 11. That's going to come out the week after on the 25th of May, and you're going to get the conclusion to this story. And I would presume probably in this episode or the episode afterwards we're gonna get the conclusion of graphic novel number three maybe the speed force goes away if the speed force turns out to be the true villain of the first part however you're gonna see psych you're gonna see dion again and you're probably gonna see the conclusion of fuerza like we saw in this upcoming episode she as a human is coming for the first time and so they're gonna get into the mystery about all the forces and what it all really means. Okay, so let's move on to the last thing in this video. And so Jordan Fisher, who has been recently cast as Bart Allen on The Flash, has been on set the last few days, and that's because his quarantine is up and so is everyone else who's going to be appearing in this episode. And so he's been tweeting about it and he put out a tweet just earlier today and I thought I'd mention it, and it says, I met Barry Allen, Jay Garrick, and XS today, so just further confirmation that all of those characters are going to be showing up. Obviously Barry's going to be showing up because Grant is the lead of the show. However, we knew that John Wesley Shipp would be showing up as Jay Garrick, that's confirmed. And also XS was confirmed recently, so Nora West Allen is returning. And we are presuming that maybe they are siblings, because unless they've changed something radically due to Crisis, it seems like Nora is probably going to be their daughter still. And it's also been confirmed that Bart Allen in this version of the character in the TV show is going to be the son of Barry and Iris from the future. So he's in a similar boat to Nora and that's super exciting to see. But it's just great to see him actually acknowledging it because we knew the actors were quarantining at the exact same time. 
and this is for the Flash's 150th episode, so it's going to be a big Flash family team-up episode, and I can't wait for it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, click here to watch my latest video, also please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new, also leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy the video, what do you think about everything we've talked about today, let me know down below, but for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see.